Hello everyone, and welcome to this first video tutorial for Maverick Indie. Maverick Indie focuses its efforts on being the right tool for artists to create impressive images from their models. If you haven't already, be sure to check Maverick Studios tutorials, as they cover everything you need to know about Maverick's basics. These tutorials will teach you the basics of using Maverick's user interface. They are short, easy to watch and will greatly help to get yourself familiar with the user interface. Alright, let's get started with Maverick Indie. Take a look at the start screen by clicking this button. A collection of samples scenes that you can load and play with, is available. We have a dragon, an elephant sculpture, a bike, and a rat biker. You can also select a navigation preset matching popular software. Let's get started, and see how we can import a model from Substance Painter in Maverick Indie. You will see it's a fairly easy process. Here we are in Substance Painter, with a textured model from our friend Hosa Manuhel Linares, a poly modeling artist. He has participated in many worldwide productions. You can take a look at his stunning personal and professional modeling work. Feel free to visit his website, the links is provided in the description below. A lot of stunning work here. His personal work is nothing short of amazing as well. Here is our rat biker model. A concept art by Dan Seddon. We would like to use this video as an occasion to congratulate and thank Hosa Manuhel for providing us with our sample scenes models. And here it is in Substance Painter, carefully textured by Victor Loba. Substance Painter makes it really quick and easy to texture models with smart brushes and materials. Check it out if you don't know it. Let's take a look at how the project is configured. The project has three texture sets. One for the jacket, one for the motorbike, and one for the character. We will now export the data to use with Maverick. Go to the Texture Export tool, located in the File menu. Select an output path for your files by clicking this button. Browse your hard drive, choose a location and click Select Folder. Be sure to select the Maverick Export Configuration, which is provided with Maverick Indie. Take a look at the provided channels. A Maverick Advanced Configuration is also available. It brings several more texture export channels for more advanced PBR materials. We will use the standard preset for this model. Select your output resolution and click the export button. Now export the mesh as an OBJ file in the same folder as the textures. Wait for the mesh to export. Let's go back to Maverick Indie and see how incredibly easy it is to import your Substance Painter data. Simply click the Substance Painter import button and select your object file. Maverick will automatically gather the texture files. Select one of the ambiences. Don't worry, you will be able to change it or use your own after the import if you want. Click Next. The importer displays a preview and the scene's dimensions. It also offers rescaling parameters if needed. You can flip the vertical axis if your model was importing wrong. If everything looks fine, simply click Next. The next step invites you to configure your material's import. For most standard materials however, these parameters will need no changes. You can enable the ambient occlusion, if your model has such textures. You can configure how subsurface scattering is handled as well. Opacity maps can be read as actual opacity, or as refractive glass. Finally you can set emission intensity if the model has self-illumination textures. Let's proceed. And here it is. Everything imported on the click of a button. It cannot get much simpler than that. Go and take a look at the objects panel. The import process created groups for each material. All the objects sharing the same texture set are properly named and ordered, respecting Substance Painter's configuration. The materials panel shows our three materials from the Substance Painter texture sets, and all the textures were automatically imported. The material setup was also done automatically, thanks to Maverick's PBR standard material. Go ahead and play with the different ambiences. Maverick Indie comes with over 28 preset ambiences, and even more HDR environments. 
Ambiences are quick presets with a shadow catching floor. Be sure to check our lighting and ambiences video tutorial to learn more about keyboard shortcuts and features. There are studio ambiences as well. For editing, you can improve Maverick's interactive performance using the Render Tab's ultrafast preset. Using the plus denoiser option, your image will clean up in no time for a better preview. Let's try this with a very nice studio ambience and a black reflective floor. See how quickly Maverick is producing a clean result, allowing you to work faster and concentrate on your art. Let's try an indoor parking. The lighting library comes with many indoor, outdoor and studio environments to create great looking images very quickly. This extensive ambiences and HDR environments library comes with matching backplates. Please watch our complete ambiences and environment video tutorial, this will greatly help understanding Maverick's image-based lighting system. If environment lighting is not enough, Maverick Indie allows you to create your own area lights. Let's add one using the normal light tool, which video tutorials link was provided a moments ago, and is available in the video description. Simply enable the normal light tool, and click anywhere on an object to create a light. This instantly creates a light in the exact position required to produce reflections where you clicked. You can keep repositioning the light until you're pleased with the result. Hold the control key, and click somewhere else. This creates another light. You can hide any light from the camera by clicking the eye icon next to it. Use the mouse wheel to push the light further or closer to the object. Exit the normal light tool by enabling the selection tool, or pressing the V key shortcut. You can also create lights at predefined places such as top, bottom, right or left. Creating light setups in Maverick is incredibly easy, yet powerful. Lights have numerous advanced features to get just the right image. An amazing feature in Maverick Indie is the light mixer. Simply engage it, and you can edit your lighting without rendering again. Lower the environment for example, and watch the changes happen in real time with no render restart. And now the first light you created. The light mixer changes happen even while the render is still progressing. You can even change the light's color. This works for all your scene lights, with up to 8 channels. You can solo a light to better see how it affects the scene. The solo light method is very handy to individually edit lights, and see how much they contribute to the overall lighting. Using Light Mixer to set up your lights can save you a lot of time, by not having to wait for the noise to clear on complex scene or slow GPUs. When you're done, you can bake the Light Mixer changes to the actual scene lights. This will restart the render. Now your Light Mixer changes have been baked into the scene lights. Let's add a photographic touch to this image by enabling depth of field. Right click anywhere on the render, and remove the checkmark from the Disable Global DOF option. Go and check your camera settings using this overlay button, or the pen icon. Change the aperture parameter, which affects how much defocusing you get. Just like a real camera, reducing the aperture, or f-stop, increases the amount of light entering the lens and changes the image brightness. You can lock the exposure to prevent that if you want. You can focus on any part of your scene from the right-click contextual menu and selecting autofocus. Maverick Depth of Field is very fast, it comes almost for free, adding no rendering time. Now let's see how we can update our assets if we edit them in Substance Painter. Being able to make changes without importing and setting up the scene again is important. Let's make the bike's color pink for example. We will do that adding a filter layer in pass-through mode, to keep it non-destructive. Add an HSL perceptive filter for example, and tweak the hue. Substance Painter has many ways to quickly change and modulate existing materials, feel free to do it your way. The bike's color has been changed while preserving all of our materials properties, such as the edge wear and bump maps. We can change the rat's skin color as well. Using the same method, adding a new layer in pass-through mode, and an HSL filter. Let's make this rat radioactive.
All we have to do now is export our textures again. We didn't change the jacket, so make sure to uncheck it to shorten export time. When the export process is done, we can return to Maverick Indy. The only action we need to do is click the Reload All Maps button, and we're done. That's how simple it is to work with Maverick Indy and Substance Painter. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.